something to crow about. Marty, T. Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. Goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers. Buffoons. Detractors. You are far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane belief. Without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? <laughs> Grow old? <laughs> you! The best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho! And the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rumph? Well then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here? <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. I mean, really. Here you stand before Shea Gorath himself. Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome 
to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Here we go! Never should have come here! Time to finish this! You seem to be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Here we go. Maybe we shrunk the whole thing down a little first. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And continue to eat ah. now. Need something? Is he doing the fish stick? It's a very delicate state of mind. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Why waste all that hatred on yourself when it can so easily be directed at others? But someone still has quite a bit to do. Hmm. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Pelagius the Third? Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! I'm busy. 
delicate state of mind. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. <sighs> you see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simple. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, while they do the same. You'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe, which means you helped him out. Sort of. And we're that much closer to home. doing the fish stick it's a very delicate state of mind do you mind I'm busy doing the fish stick it's a very delicate state of mind Mortal? Insufferable. Yes, yes, you're entirely brilliant. Conquering madness and all that. Blah, 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 blah. But you're not done yet! And you could still die. Fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent.
got something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Got something to say? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded. And survived! I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations! You're free to go. Bye! They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack as a symbol of my... Oh, just... You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha-ha! <laughs> Ta-ta!